All right, we're out here. I've done all my checks and whatnot. So we're gonna see if this thing hovers first line of sight and then I'll put on the goggles and try not to crash. So here we go. Let's do a little test hover. All right, so it hovered, but it pitched back some. So I'm gonna start it up again and see if it goes away. Otherwise, I'll just trim it out to fly it, which is not ideal, but I'm already out here and I can't really mess with any of the settings right now. So we'll see if cycling the power um, fixes the gyro calibration, but if not, we'll just trim it out and fly it. All right, so cycling the power didn't do anything. I'll have to go into beta flight later and, and check out uh, all the receiver inputs and everything, but trimmed it out. Um, it just goes to show you guys should always be doing test hovers before you put on the goggles because uh, it will probably be pretty disorienting if your quad is out of trim or just starts banking on you randomly with the goggles on on your first flight. So remember, always do a test hover before you fly and with that said let's go ahead and see what this thing can do so hopefully uh, we don't have any issues because of that trimming issue but we'll find out <laughs> All right, so there we go. Um, flew good, obviously the trim is off, so I will have to adjust endpoints, but I did just remember, I haven't built a new quad in a really long time, but I gotta tune the pids on this thing. So I think I might as well take this opportunity right now to go ahead and explain a little bit of my tuning. So as you saw, I was doing some really harsh, like abrupt, uh, just flips and rolls to kind of get a feel of the beta flight tune the roll was a little slow um but not a lot of bounce back so i'll probably dial in more p less d right and then the pitch uh this is this quad is a really long fuselage so the pitch was also sluggish to me but also had a lot of bounce back that's a reason why i don't like quads with long fuselages i'll have to mess with the p's and d's there but i can tell the motors are being very aggressive in the pitch direction so um that's not ideal so maybe less p but i'm getting bounce back so maybe 
more D or more P and D. It just might need a lot more aggressive tuning on the pitch just because the way the weight is distributed on this quad. So I increase P on roll, decrease D on roll, and then increase P on pitch and increase D on pitch. And we'll see how that works. All right, so I would say that was an improvement. Um, I am noticing on pitch, definitely the trimming thing is making it all whack uh, because when I pitch forward, the rate is slightly faster than when I pitch back. But in general, I think it's pretty close. Maybe a little more D on pitch, but the response is better. Roll's pretty good. Um, maybe a little more P on that as well. Also the roll, feels a little floaty to me which um means it needs more eye so i'll probably dial in some more eye on roll maybe a little more eye on pitch just uh just because it probably needs it as well it's a little harder to tell because i'm having that rate uh thing going on where the rate is not the same in both directions so i'll dial in more eye maybe a little more p on both axes and also, I have to check out the yaw. I haven't been paying attention to yaw. So I'm going to swap the battery and we'll go again.
All right, so that was um, a little more P on both axes and then a little more I on both axes. And I think it's pretty dialed on pitch and roll now. So the only thing left is yaw and yaw is pretty close. I think just a little more P on that and it's gonna be good. So I'm gonna dial that in and we'll fly again. Okay, so I think that was a little better. It's lacking a bit of damping on yaw, so I might put in a little more, which makes sense because uh, this CG on this quad is not as tight, so it's gonna need like a little more, a little more power and a little more damping on everything, which is not what P and D mean, but it's kind of what they do. So uh, I'll dial that in, and also I'm gonna mess with the settings for the current monitoring because they're obviously wrong. So I'll try to get them a little bit closer. Um, and then I have to verify with like charging and discharging batteries. That'll take me a couple outings of flying to dial that in. So, you know, just making more tweaks. Uh, we're pretty close with the PIDs and then it's just messing with the current stuff. And then this quad is dialed. <laughs> Okay, so I ended up adding a little bit of P and D to the yaw um, because I thought it was a little sluggish, so it needed a little P. Um, and then for D, uh, there actually was zero D to begin with, so I just added like five, and that's pretty good. So I would say at this point, the PIDs are pretty much completely tuned. I adjusted the current meter and I think I adjusted it the wrong way because it was reading low and now it's reading extra low so I can never remember which way to adjust it so I'll go back and I'll mess with that but for the purposes of this video this quad is pretty much ready to go uh, I just have to address the weird trim thing going on with my inputs and then the current sensing but that's not very glamorous so I'm not going to film the rest of that obviously this video was not very in depth i didn't even show values but just kind of give you an idea of what i go through setting up my quad uh out in the field so you know test hovering um flying it with whatever pids are on it and then obviously tweaking and tweaking and it only took me like two and a half batteries to get to a pretty good place with my pids but obviously if you're more of a beginner that might take you longer i've been doing this a long time so i have a lot of experience with trying to feel how the quad is performing and then making adjustments based on that. So 
once again, this is definitely not an in-depth like PID tuning guide or anything because I didn't even show values and honestly, you can't really see how the quad is performing, but maybe in the future, I'll do something a little more in-depth. So let me know if you guys want to see that kind of video as well. Anyways, this video was probably a lot more informal than usual. Just me out here trying to figure out what's happening. So I hope you guys still enjoyed and please like this video if you liked it and get subscribed to see more content like this in the future. Thanks for watching.